Myth of Centaurs Centaurs, half-human, half-horse creatures, are among the most iconic figures in Greek mythology. Their dual nature, with the body of a horse and the torso of a human, symbolizes the complex relationship between civilization and primal instinct. Often depicted as wild and unruly, centaurs represent the untamed forces of nature. They inhabit the rugged mountains and forests of Thessaly and Arcadia, living far from the structured world of humans. Their origins are rooted in ancient myths, with some legends suggesting they were born from the union of the cloud nymph Nephili and the mortal king Ixion. This connection to the gods highlights their duality as beings both divine and bestial. As embodiments of nature's wild side, centaurs often clashed with the more civilized aspects of Greek society, creating rich narratives that explore themes of conflict, harmony, and the human condition. The Origin of Centaurs Mythological origins of centaurs are fascinating and complex. According to one prominent story, centaurs were born from Ixion, king of the Lapiths, and a cloud created by Zeus in the image of Hera, known as Nephili. This union resulted in the birth of Centaurus, who later mated with the wild mares of Thessaly, producing the race of centaur. This myth underscores their connection to both the divine and the earthly, embodying the tension between the heavens and the primal forces of the earth. This origin story reflects the ancient Greeks' view of centaurs as beings caught between two worlds. They are neither fully human nor fully animal, symbolizing the struggle between civilization and nature. This duality is evident in many myths where centaurs are portrayed as both noble and savage, capable of wisdom, but also prone to wild, uncontrollable behavior. Centaurs in Greek Culture In Greek culture, centaurs were often seen as symbols of chaos and disorder. Their wild and unruly nature contrasted sharply with the Greek ideal of reason and self-control. This is evident in their frequent depiction in art and literature as aggressive, drunken creatures who often succumb to their basest instinct. The most famous example of this is the battle between the centaurs and the lapith, known as the centauromachy. The centauromachy was a popular subject in Greek art, symbolizing the triumph of civilization over barbarism. The myth tells the story of a violent brawl that erupted at the wedding of Pirithaus, king of the Lapiths, when the centaurs, who were invited as guests, came drunk and attempted to abduct the bride. This event was seen as a metaphor for the constant struggle between the civilizing forces of society and the wild, untamed aspects of human nature, the centauromachy. The Centauromachy is one of the most significant myths involving centaurs. It represents the archetypal conflict between the forces of order and chaos. During the wedding of Pirithaus, the centaurs, who were initially invited as guests, became intoxicated and lost control, attempting to abduct the bride Hippodamia and other female guests. This act of violence led to a brutal battle between the centaurs and the Lapiths, who ultimately emerged victorious. This myth was not just a tale of violence but also a moral lesson for the Greeks. It highlighted the dangers of losing control and giving in to base instinct. The victory of the Lapith symbolized the triumph of reason and civilization over barbarism and savagery. The Centauromachy was a popular subject in ancient art, often depicted on temple friezes, such as those of the Parthenon, serving as a reminder of the need to maintain order and self-discipline. The wisdom of Chiron. Not all centaurs were wild and unruly. Chiron, the most famous centaur in Greek mythology, was known for his wisdom, kindness, and medical knowledge. Unlike his brethren, Chiron was a teacher and mentor to many Greek heroes, including Achilles, Asclepius, and Hercules. His wisdom and gentleness set him apart from the other centaurs, making him a revered figure in Greek mythology. Chiron's story is a testament to the potential for centaurs to embody both the wild and the civilized. His character shows that, despite their primal nature, Centaurs could also possess great knowledge and virtue. Chiron's association with healing and education further distinguishes him from the typical centaur, portraying him as a bridge between the chaotic, natural world and the structured intellectual realm of humans. The Tragic Fate of Chiron Chiron's life, though marked by wisdom and virtue, ended in tragedy. According to myth, Chiron was accidentally wounded by a poisoned arrow shot by Hercules. Despite his extensive knowledge of medicine, Chiron could not heal himself because the arrow was dipped in the blood of the Hydra, 
creature whose venom was incurable. Suffering from unbearable pain, Chiron chose to give up his immortality, a rare gift among centaurs, in exchange for Prometheus's freedom. This sacrifice made Chiron a symbol of selflessness and compassion, further differentiating him from the other centaurs. His tragic end is a poignant reminder of the dual nature of centaurs in mythology. While they are often depicted as wild and dangerous, Chiron's story illustrates that they also had the capacity for great nobility and wisdom. Chiron's death, followed by his transformation into the constellation Centaurus, immortalized his legacy in the stars. Centaurs in Literature Centaurs have played a significant role in literature, both ancient and modern. In ancient Greek texts, they were often portrayed as antagonists or cautionary figures, representing the dangers of uncontrolled passion and primal instinct. For instance, in Homer's Iliad, the centaurs are mentioned in passing as savage creatures, while in Ovid's Metamorphoses, they are depicted in stories of conflict and violence, particularly in the tale of the Centauromachy. In modern literature, centaurs have been reimagined in various ways, often symbolizing the complex relationship between humanity and nature. In C.S. Lewis's Chronicles of Narnia, for example, centaurs are portrayed as noble and wise beings, echoing the characteristics of Chiron rather than the wild centaurs of Greek myth. This evolution in their portrayal reflects changing attitudes towards nature and the recognition of the centaur's dual symbolism as both a wild creature and a bearer of wisdom. Centaurs in Art Centaurs in Art Centaurs have been a popular subject in art throughout history, from ancient Greece to the Renaissance and beyond. In ancient Greek art, they were often depicted in scenes of battle, such as the Centauromachy, symbolizing the struggle between civilization and barbarism. These depictions can be found in sculptures, pottery, and temple friezes, where centaurs are shown in dynamic violent poses, reflecting their wild nature. During the Renaissance, artists revisited the theme of centaurs, often exploring the tension between their human and animal aspect. Works such as Michelangelo's Battle of the Centaurs and Piero di Cosimo's The Discovery of Honey by Bacchus depict centaurs in more nuanced ways, sometimes highlighting their tragic or noble qualities. The representation of centaurs in art has evolved over time, but they have consistently served as powerful symbols of the duality of human nature. The Symbolism of Centaurs Centaurs are rich in symbolism, embodying the tension between the civilized and the primal aspects of human nature. Their dual form, half-human and half-horse, represents the conflict between reason and passion, order and chaos. In Greek mythology, centaurs often symbolize the dangers of giving in to one's base instincts, as seen in their frequent portrayal as drunken, violent creatures. However, centaurs also symbolize the potential for harmony between these opposing forces. Iron's wisdom and compassion illustrate that it is possible to balance the wild and the civilized, suggesting that humans too can reconcile their dual nature. This symbolism has made centaurs enduring figures in mythology, serving as reminders of the complexities of the human condition. Centaurs in Modern Popular Culture Centaurs have maintained their relevance in modern popular culture. Appearing in books, films, and video games, they are often portrayed as wise and noble beings, much like Chiron, or as powerful and fierce warriors, reflecting their ancient depictions. In J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, for example, centaurs are portrayed as mystical and knowledgeable creatures, living in the forbidden forest and possessing a deep connection to the stars and nature. In video games and fantasy films, centaurs are often depicted as strong, battle-hardened warriors embodying the primal, untamed aspect of their nature. Their dual form makes them versatile characters, capable of representing both the wisdom of nature and the raw power of the animal world. Centaurs' continued presence in popular culture highlights their enduring appeal as symbols of the complex relationship between humanity and the natural world. Interpretations of Centaurs in Psychology Centaurs have also been interpreted through the lens of psychology particularly in the context of Carl Jung's theories of the collective unconscious. Jung saw mythical creatures like centaurs as archetypes, representing universal aspects of the human psyche. The centaur, with its dual nature, can be seen as an embodiment of the conflict between the conscious mind and the unconscious, the rational and the instinctual. 
This psychological interpretation adds another layer of meaning to the myth of the centaurs. It suggests that the stories of these creatures resonate with us on a deep, symbolic level, reflecting the internal struggles that all humans face. The centaur's ability to represent both the civilized and the primal aspects of human nature makes it a powerful symbol in the exploration of the human mind. The Legacy of Centaurs The myth of centaurs has endured for centuries, evolving and adapting to different cultural contexts. From their origins in Greek mythology as symbols of chaos and savagery, to their modern portrayals as wise and noble beings, centaurs have captured the imagination of artists, writers, and scholars alike. Their dual nature, embodying both the human and the animal, continues to resonate with audiences, making them powerful symbols of the complex relationship between humanity and the natural world. Centaurs remind us of the delicate balance between civilization and nature reason and passion, order and chaos. Whether as wild creatures or wise mentors, they reflect the struggles and possibilities inherent in the human condition. The legacy of centaurs is a testament to their enduring power as mythological figures, capable of inspiring and challenging us to explore the depths of our own nature. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.